As the 2016 crop circle season comes to an end, so will our daily coverage. But as long as you watch our videos, we will continue our decoding when new crop circles pop up. Today, I will share with you what we found on the August 17th Nursted crop circle in Wiltshire, England, and the August 24th crop in Woodway Bridge, Wiltshire, and then the August 27th crop in Overton Hill, the sanctuary in Wiltshire. Let's start with the hexagon on August 17th. Remember I said before, decoding crop circles is never easy. You can't decode when it is simple. You can't decode when it is hard. When you decode, no matter what, you will be called dumb. This is a good example of a crop circle that is not too simple, nor too complicated. But decoding it is just as hard. However, hard does not mean impossible. Let me show you what I found. It's a circle made of a hexagon and circles. There is a circle in the center of a hexagon, which is inside a big circle. There are six circles inside the hexagon at its six sides, and the other six circles at the six outside corners. What does the hexagon mean? According to symbolicmeanings.com, it means balance, interfacing, communication, and metaphysical trigger. So what do you see if we remove the hexagon and the circles? You get this, a target. What is the target? The earth? The sun? Does this look like the August 27th crop circle in the sanctuary? Maybe the crop circle maker wants to make sure we don't miss out on the details. If a hexagon means communication, then it is pretty obvious that the circles inside the hexagon are talking to the ones outside. As we can see, there are lines of communication between them, right? But what puzzles me and actually concerns me is that the outer circles are not cut by the hexagon. The outside part of the circles have clear edges, so they look more like six Pac-Men trying to bite into the hexagon. Assuming the circles inside the hexagon are us trying to communicate with the rest of the universe, the Pac-Man circles seem like the ETs trying to eat us alive. However, we can't rule out the wide open mouth represented by this big genuine smiles, right? Of course, it can also mean our balance of life is about to change due to interference from the outside. If the big circle represents the earth, then the communication, balance, and union can all mean what will happen on earth soon. In that case, we only need to worry about homegrown Pac-Men, not space Pac-Men. Isn't that a relief? Imagine trying to send complicated messages through a simple crop circle. It is difficult, if not impossible. So instead of looking at one crop circle, we read them as a new episode each time. Let's see if we can find any more clues in the August 24th Woodway Bridge crop. How will you describe this? The best I can do is to call it a dazed eyeball looking up. I am sure you figured that out yourself. Honestly, I had to really think on this. The first thought that came to my mind was, can this be a message of a date? So I checked on solarsystemscope.com and boom, I got the answer. You see, when you open solarsystemscope.com, you immediately see the planetary map of today. On August 31, 2016, all the planets are on one side of the sun. Now, let's move to the date of 8-24-2016. It was the date the crop circle appeared. What do you see? Not only are all the planets on only one side, 
Neptune, Earth, Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter are clearly aligned in one line, while Uranus, Earth, Mars, and Saturn are aligned on the other. Both lines intersect at the Earth. But if the message is about a date, why should they tell us a date we already know? I mean, the crop circle appeared on August 24, 2016, and the planetary map showed that day. Well, if you look at the orbit of the planet Mercury in the crop circle, you will see three dots. Could this mean movement of Mercury? Maybe we should look for the next planetary alignment that fits the scenario. The next possible date is October 18, 2016. On that day, not only are Uranus, Earth, Mercury, and Jupiter aligned in a straight line, but Neptune, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter are also aligned in a straight line, while Saturn, Venus, and Earth form another straight line and intersect with the two four-planet alignments. Pretty amazing. Believe it or not, that date was also pointed out in the August 3rd Chilcom Hampshire Crop Circle. When I released the decoding of the 8-3-2016 circle on 8-4-2016, I thought it was a calendar of 100 days, with days past, crossed out, and I thought there were 22 days left, which means something may happen on August 25, 2016. Did you know the 6.2 earthquake in Italy killed at least 250 people and destroyed the town of Amatrice, while a 6.8 quake on that day killed three in Burma? If you think that is nothing too serious, then maybe I decoded it wrong. Maybe there is 77 days left instead of 77 days past. If that is the case, then October 18, 2016 will be the next disaster date to watch out for. I also want to bring to your attention the small dot outside the circle. Assuming the big circle represents our solar system, does the small dot mean something is coming our way from outside our solar system? Of course, the outmost layer of the big circle showed seven dots. Shouldn't there be eight on the map if it is about our solar system? If the small dot outside the circle does not represent an intruder, but the eight planets, could it mean one of our planets will be cruising out of its orbit? Or the map may just be pointing to another date? A date ranging between October 18th till October 30, 2016. That is when all planets are on one side of the sun. Maybe that is the time we will be faced with another challenge. Now let's look at the August 27th crop in Overton, the sanctuary in Wiltshire, England. As you can see, it is a very simple crop circle, a double circle in the center with a big circle on the outside that is formed in the sanctuary like the August 17 crop circle. Does this mean Earth is our sanctuary? Does this mean we need to seek a sanctuary? What do you think? I actually had two dreams last night. In the first one, I saw a tall building collapse. I think it is a big hotel like the Ritz. And then in the second dream, I kept on hearing the words, before November. I felt it was like a 911 kind of an attack. I normally don't think too much about my dreams, but this dream was so vivid. Maybe I watch too much news, and maybe things aren't looking too bright. Either way, I hope nothing really bad will happen. This is Ken Peters. Thanks for watching.